I recently got together with my friend James to produce some video collaborative content for It's Much More. It's Much More is a kind of enthusiast entertainment platform. They have a variety of different kinds of uh, content and outlets with a heavy emphasis on gaming and community and getting people together to have discussions and conversation, which actually shares a lot in common with what I do. So we decided to work together on some more collaborative platforms. We met up just yesterday and we were like, Christian, I know that you've got... I know that you've got this. Um, Giant James, but I know you've also got this and this and this. Let's work together and produce some future kinds of content. So look out for that coming forward very soon. So he's like to me, Christian, you've got a Neo Geo Pocket, haven't you? And I'm like, yeah. Tell me about it, because I don't know anything about it. So here we go. So this is my Neo Geo Pocket Color. I picked this up towards the end of 1999. I think I bought it for $79.99 at the time, could have even been $69.99 at the time. As you can see, it is the blue camouflage edition. There was other colours at launch, which is something of a quite a unique quirk. Um, normally most consoles come out are always uh, black, but uh, there was other colours. There was a black one, there was a white one, um, and there was also like a stone blue. This particular device here has the ability also to connect to a Sega Dreamcast, so you could transfer data between a number of different titles. That was a key sign point for me because I had a Dreamcast and obviously I wanted uh, some information to go between that and for me when I go out on the move. So we've got, let's go around the console. There's some clear, some, uh, clear distinct information here about what the device is and its capacity. Uh, so we have here, if you read across there, it's got a TFT screen, it talks about its resolution. It is the Neo Geo Pocket Color, because there was a black and white edition that came prior to this. Let's look around the console, let's start from the bottom then. So we have here, we have the volume up and down, we have a roll wheel here, we have a headphone jack and a power output as well. Have the power button here, that's a really cool micro switch d-pad, two really responsive buttons and an options button too. And uh, let's just uh, power this up and uh, let's see what this console can do. I always thought the sound in here was really good and really clear. Um, in particular, so this particular game here, this is uh, Match of the Millennium. SNK versus Capcom. The, uh, the fighting stages here, of course, are quite memorable from King of Fighters and Street Fighter respectively. Uh, the sounds of those levels are really good. I mean, have a listen. Another key important difference between the handheld market at the time, of course you had this technically was Nintendo's first competition outside of the Sega Game Gear. So this Neo Geo Pocket Color did the opposite to the Game Gear, as where the Game Gear could potentially manage maybe an hour batteries. The Neo Geo Pocket Color here lasted 30 plus hours, near 40 hours on just two AA batteries. Its battery life far exceeded any other device out on the market, especially at that time. So let's see what happens when you boot the console up without a cartridge inside it. You're presented here with a pocket menu. Calendar, world time, alarm, settings, and horoscope. Now let's see, let's see what's under horoscope. Let's see what our fortunes tell us for the future. So you would enter here your birth date. So in my case, March. And I'll scroll through to 22. And uh, I shall be entering my year here. That's right, I am a product of the 1980s, born in 1981, I'm an heiress. And uh, let's talk about my fortune today. So money, four star, that's really good. Health, one, bad. Uh, five star romance and three star general. So of course you can go in here every day and you would be presented with your new horoscope. Also the, uh, the calendar here had the ability to... Go, you could, I think you could go to 2199, because so I think I did go all the way through the uh, the calendar months. And of course you can leave notes for yourself as well. Really interesting functions for a device that was just a little games console. With 16-bit power, link to the Sega Dreamcast. 146 color display. Six cool styles. The graphics will blow you away. Neo Geo Pocket. Way ahead of the game. So we're going to have a try 
we're going to try and have a go at recording and playing this simultaneously. So this is going to be a moment of fun here. Again, I'm playing Match of the Millennium SNK versus Capcom. It's also been revealed very recently that a number of the Neo Geo Pocket Color titles are actually going to be making their way to the Nintendo Switch as SNK celebrates its 30th anniversary. So pretty good to dip back into nostalgia, listen to that joystick once more, that nice micro switch there, feels good. So James, thank you very much for giving me the inspiration to uh, shoot this video. I'm uh, looking to do many more with you, so let's just uh, keep the ball rolling and uh, see where we go. So, until next time, I'm Define Christian, and I'll see you soon.